Hi, Asbjørn from Talon at DK with information on your brain, about the brain, about storytelling and the newest research in the brain. Because groundbreaking news about your brain, about your supercomputer has come uh, by Kendall Haven. Neuroscientist from the University of Stanford has together with 48, 47 other scientists made a big project on the brain and story. Your brain on story. Groundbreaking because it shows that this research product that the brain wants its information in storytelling form, in a storytelling shape. And if it doesn't get it, information, it will make it by its own. It will redo the information so it has the ingredients of a storytelling form. That means with a main character, with a enemy of a main character and antagonist, with a goal, with a fight, a challenge and a resolution. That is the foundation of the story that the brain wants its information in. The scientist realized that there is a, an area within the brain that's called the neural story net, NSN. This size behind the brain that really gets activated when a person is seeing or listening to a story. And they, uh, by tryouts, they also found out how does the story want its information? How should this frame be built up? And I'll show you now a, a drawing of this. So for you to use this, because when you use this storytelling form that I'm gonna show you right now, people will remember what you say. Tell those personal stories and put your data into them. What, what, what you wanna deliver, try to put them into a, this storytelling form. I did a talk uh, for some days ago in a company about storytelling and public speaking. And normally I tell my own stories. I didn't do this this time, I told other people's stories to, 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 to explain how a story should look like. And then uh, after the, uh, the lecture, there was a queue, there was a line of the, the, the audience, they queued up, we love that. Uh, when you do public speaking, you love when, when people uh, queue up, because that means that they wanna give you credit, so. And there was, as a matter of fact, two women uh, that, that said almost the same thing. Why didn't we hear your own stories? And one of them could remember the, my, the story I tell where I always lost my, uh, my dear dad uh, in a heart attack and what that did to my relationship with him and in the appreciation, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and she could remember that story in details. It's, it shows how she's following me on YouTube. And another lady asked for another story that I'm telling uh, in, in, in a YouTube uh, film on my YouTube uh, uh, channel. So it's just to illustrate that people remember your personal stories. They really do and they want them. So how, how sh should it look like? Let's, let's, let's walk over here in the other room. Uh, the room, uh, not the other room, the same, because I, I sit much better over here. Uh, we, I'm, I, I, I've just been having this microphone uh, <laughs> We're not used to this microphone, but uh, it's gonna be all right. Listen, this is how the, the story should look like, okay? Can you see it there? Uh, a main character, also called the identity character. The character that the audience identifies themselves with. A goal. A motive, this motive within the goal uh, common with the audience, the same as the audience, that's very good. Then an then a enemy, an enemy of the, uh, the main character, the identity character. Antagonist, foe character. Then a climax, a struggle, a fight within the story. And then a resolution. That is so simple, this is not rocket science, but this is how the brain wants it. If you give it 
this structure. Deliver your information with this structure. The brain will remember it. It works in sales too. I've started teaching companies to, to tell about their products within this story line, within this story frame. And you can see the sales is, is going up. I have an ongoing trial right now with a company that's that is very funny because I um, I retail the um, I help them do their company story, uh, so 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 it looks like this, and also the, the the story about their product, so it looks like this, and you can almost always put put your your stories into this shape because there is always a main character that's the, the product, a goal um, uh, that is uh, that. It, like diabetic uh, insulin, a, a goal for better insulin, uh, enemy is, could be the temperature or the time of this insulin, uh, climax is to develop the insulin so, so it can handle uh, freezing temperatures or high temperatures without getting uh, bad, and resolution uh, is uh, uh, the final end of the product. So, so um, almost anything can be put into this. Do it because you can sell much more and people will remember your product. This was Aspiron, my name is Aspiron, this is Copenhagen and let's just, there's a ship coming by, uh, try to take that sh ship, let's go outside um, and see the ship. This is the, um, <laughs> this, this is the ship uh, that goes out to the uh, big ships to take them into the harbor. Is this wonderful? The first spring day. You wanna, you wanna take the, uh, the windows. So yes, bye for now. Follow me on uh, Instagram, on YouTube. I, I do a lot of videos about public speaking, about the brain. I do teach, as I said, scientists at University of Copenhagen, how to present the science and how to put it into a storytelling form. So. I'll, I'll make much more videos. Hi for now. That was Aspion from Talon DK. Bye.